Hello engineers, you are welcome to Chris Control Automation. If this is the first time you are watching this channel, I will urge you that you subscribe to this channel, okay? And then you hit the bell icon. And then you select all from the options, okay? To receive all my videos, okay? Yeah, today we are going to look at sizing of overload, okay? Sizing of overload, alright? For induction motor using service factor, alright? So let's get started. Okay, so over here we have the definition of a service factor. Okay, it says the motor service factor, all right, is a multiplier that account for the permissible overload on a motor under ideal conditions all right this one too overload relays are designed to open the circuit when the current becomes 115 percent to 125 percent of the motor full load current the setting of the overload is dependent on the properties of the motor that is to be protected all right so what they are saying is that okay when we are sizing an overload, all right, for an induction motor, okay, right, there are some conditions that are supposed to be met, okay, yes. Now we have this service factor on our motor nameplate. There are so many information on the on the motor nameplate, including this service factor. So IEC is saying that, okay, if you want to um, protect a, an induction motor with an overload, all right. You have to consider the current rating of the motor okay the current rating of the motor all right and also the service factor all right so iec is saying that iec okay iec is saying that okay with a service factor okay with a service factor with service factor of with a service factor okay greater than okay greater than or equal to okay or equal to 1.15 okay with a service factor greater than or equal to 1.15 okay all right the motor should the motor the motor current reaching okay current rating should be okay multiplied by okay by 125% all right iec is saying that with service factor greater than or equal to 1.15 the motor current rating should be multiplied by one point sorry by 125 percent to get okay to get the size of the overload okay really yes and then secondly okay he said with a service factor of less than okay less than one less than one um point one five okay the motor current reaching all right should be multiplied all right by one one five percent okay to get the size of the overload okay yes so now with this okay with this all right they are saying that with with service factor okay service factor of less than all right 1.15 the motor current rating okay should be should be multiplied okay by 
115 percent to get the size of the overhead relay so what they are saying is that when you get a new induction motor okay when you are installing a new induction motor just look at the name plate okay there are so many informations on the name, name plate including the horsepower the current routine the kilowatts the service factor the the duty cycle um the ambient temperature a lot all right so now when you want to protect the motor using an overload relay okay there are certain things that we have to consider okay so we are going to use the service factor to know the size of the overload all right so now let's see something here okay we have this motor here this motor name plate all right we have so many parameters here we have 5.5 kilowatt 50 hertz a lot okay so now we are looking at the service factor so let's see here see this side okay we are having sf service factor of 1.0 okay service factor of 1.0 so now um they are saying that okay with a service factor of less than 1.15 okay less than 1.15 the motor current rating okay should be multiplied by 115 percent to get the size of the overload relay okay so now we are we have we have we have one um, service factor service factor is equal to 1.0 okay on the motor on this motor name plate all right 1.0 on this motor name plate so in case we want to get the size of the overload okay let's see here we have the motor current written this is it amps we have amps here amps to be 10.5 amps okay 10.5 amps right so now they are saying that in case we want to get the size of the overload for this particular motor okay then now we have our arms okay to be 10.5 amps okay so they are saying that the overload size okay overload size overload size okay or rating size or rating right is equal to okay now they are saying that with a service factor of less than okay less than 1.15 okay we have to multiply the motor current rating okay the motor current rating should be multiplied by 115 percent to get the size of the overload relay so now we are coming to multiply the motor current rating by this number okay to get the motor um overload size all right so now um one one five okay one one five one one five one one five okay multiplying multiplied by ten point five okay ten point five all right so let's see here sorry i'm coming one one five one one five percent okay one one five percent all right multiplied by 10.5 okay so now 115 percent 115 percent is equal to 1.15 all right let's use calculator okay so you see calculator 115 percent all right 115 divided by 100 it is equal to 1.15 all right so now it is equal to it's equal to okay 1.15 times all right times 10.5 which is equal to let's see so 1.15 times 10.5 you get 12 it's equal to 12.075 so in brackets 12 amps okay 12 amps all right 12 amps so now with this motor with the motor with this motor with service factor of 1.0 all right and then the arms is 
and God they are saying that any service factor less than 1.15 we have to multiply the current rating of the motor okay by the by this value by 115 percent okay to get the overload size so now our overload size or rating is equal to 115 percent times 10.5 and then 115 percent is equal to 1.15 times 10.5 is equal to 12.075 so now this is this will be the correct size of the overload so now in case you want to install an overload okay you have to set the overload size to this okay you have to set the overload rating to 12 amps for this particular motor for this motor right 12 amps so this 12 amps means that okay now this is the current rating of the motor all right so under normal conditions under normal conditions the motor should operate within this current limits all right but under overall condition it should operate okay up to 12 amps it should operate up to 12 amps under overload conditions it should operate up to 12 amps okay if the current becomes excessive okay the current draw because when the motor is overloaded it tends to draw more current all right so if the current okay goes beyond 12 amps the overload will trip the overload will trip all right that is what it means now let's see this another example we have this motor nameplate here this motor nameplate okay this is um the current rating of this motor all right this is the horsepower sorry this is the horsepower okay so this is the current rating all right so we have a current rating of 14.8 amps okay with a service factor they they they, they root overload ratio you see overload ratio of 1.15 so now they are saying that with a service factor greater than or equal to 1.15 all right the motor current routing okay should be multiplied by 125 percent to get the size of the overload relay so now with this we are having we have um we have okay sf sf to be we have service factor of this motor to be to be 1.15 that is the overload ratio 1.15 okay so now with this 1 1.15 okay all right and then arms arms is equal to 14 point eight amps let's verify from here 14.8 amps right okay so now the overload size overload okay overload size or rating okay is equal to is equal to 125 125 percent right multiplied by 14.8 amps that is the current rating of this motor so now 125 percent will give us 125 percent 125 divided by 100 1.25 right all right so we have 1.25 okay okay multiplied by 14.8 all right so it's equal to um let's see this so multiplied by 14.8 we got 18.5 18 18.5 18 all right amps okay so this one will be will be the will be the the current uh, rating of the overload right of the overload okay so you can make it either 18 or 19 okay either 19 amps 19 amps but it shouldn't be so wide if you choose 20 amps in the event of an overload okay it will take longer before the overload will trip if you don't take care the motor will get bent because it can't trip because the range is too much so 
19 is okay or 18 all right yes so now this one also means that all right with this motor okay with current rating of 14.8 amps it means that this motor okay will operate within a current range of 14.5 under normal conditions or circumstance all right so in the event of an overload let's say when the motor is overloaded okay the current draw would increase but it should be within this value 18.5 or 18 or 19 okay or 19 amps you understand but any any overload current okay more than this 18 or 19 or the 18.5 the overload will trip it will sense it and then it will trip so engineers this is how we size okay the size or rating of an overload all right for an induction motor when you buy a new motor or when you are installing a new motor and you want to get a particular size of an overload for that motor then you have to look out for um, the information on the name plate okay especially the service factor and then the arms of the um of the motor all right the current rating of the motor and then the service factor and then you compare with the this you compare with these values 125 and then 115 which one is suitable per the details on the nameplate which one is su uh, suitable all right so kindly follow this step this is the main step you use to calculate the size of an overload okay yeah so engineers um if you are new to this channel okay if this is the first time you're watching this channel i'll urge you that you subscribe to this channel okay and then you hit the bell icon you select all to receive all my videos and then you like the video you share the video to your friends and then put down your comment all right so i'll see you in my next tutorials thank you